uh, most people in this culture assume they're in their bodies, but they're not really. It's much easier to be in the present moment when you are in your body. Yeah. And another thing we teach, since we both come from the tantric background, is being fully embodied. And uh, most people in this culture assume they're in their bodies, but they're not really. And I thought, always thought I was in my body. I was a dancer. I did yoga and everything. But then when I was living in the ashram, I realized those are all things I'm doing to my body. I'm not actually, my consciousness isn't in my body. So... I have a tantric embodiment induction where we, um, it's kind of like a, a deep meditation where we go down in and we really feel what it's like to be inside our bodies. Some people for the first time, some people are aware of that. But when we're bodies, being with our beloved, with another person, being body to body, we're not just mentally experiencing them, but we're actually, there's more of a, a frequency connection happening. And then we can really feel who we're comfortable with, how we're comfortable with, what's going on in the space. Uh, and I and say sex that. is a lot better. <laughs> yes, definitely. As a little footnote, as a major say, footnote. I wouldn't say that it's impossible to be in the present moment if you're not in your body, but it's much easier to be in the present moment when you are in your body. Yeah, and tell what's actually going on instead of what you think, what your fear is, thinks is going on or your mind thinks is going on, but actually being present bringing that animal awareness, bringing that uh, emotional awareness to your beloved, to your present situation. And then we talk in some later workshops about how to bring that kind of awareness into, into your sex life too. But in the G-rated version, it's just a really a way to be present, conscious, and attentive. Yeah. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Press that little button, the red one, you know, the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. And attentive. Yeah, being in the present moment is, the, is really the basis of all that. And that is, if you want to go back to the chakra model, then you're in your first and second chakras, and you're, you're building trust with the other person. You're building a sense of rootedness and connection that's going to uh, inform every aspect of your relationship. So if you get the throat cleared, if you get these lower chakra levels cleared, this is a lot what's not happening in a lot of people's relationships that aren't working. I know I was um, married to someone for four years and realized I don't even trust him. I don't trust him. It's and no, we've been married two years, but a previous one. And um, so that, that basic level of trust hadn't even been established. So that's going to affect people. I mean, uh, yeah, obviously I was counseling a couple that had been married for 20 years in my practice, and they, um, well, they say it takes a long time to build trust and an instant to break. So they had broken their trust, and they're still working at, at 20 years of trying to establish trust. So if we can date, if we can uh, date from a place of trying to establish trust, if we can be in our relationships always honoring that sense of trust and rootedness, that's really important. Yeah, that sense of trust, that sense of safety um, informs the work you do as a therapist, that I do as a coach, and that we both do with individuals and couples. Do you feel safe, secure um, now? Do you feel safe and secure with another person? Do you feel safe and secure in an intimate relationship? Yeah. Because like we always say, things are going to come up in an intimate relationship that don't come up in any other situation in your life. People can do a lot of work on themselves, and suddenly they're in a relationship. It's like, where is this stuff coming from? There are things that only come up when you get into a close, intimate relationship with someone. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.